What's up Star Wars fans, Jesse here and thank you for joining me for episode 19 of Star Wars Go Figure. Uh, this will be the last episode for a few weeks. Um, I'm about to embark on a trip over to the United States for mainly for Star Wars Celebration over in Chicago, which I'm very excited about. Um, so we get back here in Australia later in April, so probably won't have any episodes in between, but I'm hoping to put out a bunch of content um, live video streams on my YouTube channel, um, maybe through Instagram and Facebook as well. So uh, definitely go check the links and you can follow along there. Um, I haven't planned, really planned anything for this particular episode. Um, just thought I'd have a chat about what's coming up. Um, of course, Celebration is less than a week away, which is absolutely insane. Um, it's come up so quick. Uh, I finished up work yesterday, so I'm very excited that I don't have to go back to work for, th for just over three weeks. Um, and we've had lots of lots of news coming out for Celebration over the last, last week or so. Um, lots of little bits of information and details. Still haven't got the app. Um, everyone's waiting on this app to come out. Um, which hopefully will be up in the next few days. Uh, we'll see, because people really do want to start planning their planning their big weekend over in Chicago. Um, so I've entered into all the lotteries, as as I've mentioned in previous episodes. There is a lotto system uh, for the panels and exclusives, um, which which is I I think overall is a good thing, because um, I really don't want to be camping out on concrete floors overnight. Uh, it's just that wasn't a lot of fun at all. Um, it was fun, but it was it killed me for the next day. Like you don't you don't get a lot of sleep there on the concrete floors. <laughs> um, so by 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 the time about three or four o'clock p.m. the next day, I was I was a zombie, um, and it was it was quite a challenge. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to just being able to show up after a good night's rest and maybe maybe see a bit of the night nightlife as well. So it should be fun. I've even gone out of my way to uh, set myself up a little, a little day planner. I'm um, just holding this up to the camera. If you're watching, you can see it. So as you can see, just on Thursday, the only things I really got planned there are the Billy D. Williams photo op and meeting Jonas Suatamo um, for a photo op. So I've done that for every day. We've got little bits of pieces where I want to go, where to, where I want to be, different panels and different things like that photo ops and sign autographs and all that sort of stuff was scattered throughout the weekend so it's going to be a lot of fun. We also got a big post on StarWars.com showing a lot of the uh, a lot of the exclusive merch that will be available at the Celebration Store. There's so much cool stuff there. Um, I'm definitely going to look forward to forward to getting in there. Hopefully I can book a light speed pass to get in there so you get a lot and a lot of period of time where you can go in and shop which is great because there were people lining up for seven or eight hours at the last celebration in Orlando and that was insane that's a whole day wasted so you can go and potentially buy some exclusives so I'm, I'm particularly keen on there's a I'm just looking at my phone here as I talk uh, the Darth Maul character hoodie so it's basically just shirtless Darth Maul so it's a black black hoodie with a um, red hood and Darth Maul sort of chest and back tattoos throughout it, it looks looks awesome I hope to get that um, there is a uh, pretty sweet looking t-shirt uh, which I think I'm going to try and get it's the Windu City of course Chicago being known as the Windy City so it's got a picture of Mace Windu on it and it looks cool it looks like one of those old school postcards um, I was kind of keen on the figuring down on the modal nodes uh, t-shirt live from Tatooine but they've spelled Tatooine wrong and that bugs me <laughs> um, so there's a few other items I'd love to get there's a plush Darth Maul uh, with interchangeable legs so you can have his spider body, uh, you can have his two sort of first robot legs that he gets back, which are the sort of chicken legs, and then he's got the legs that the uh, Death Watch give him. And it's a little little deformed looking plush, it looks kind of cool. Um, I'll be tempted to get one of the little Converies, you know, the little owls that hang around uh, Ahsoka in the Clone Wars and Rebels. So they're pretty cool. Um, so there's going to be lots to do, lots to see. Um, Oh, we're, we've just got a pack really and we're good to go we've got 20 hours of flying just to get to Chicago um, it's gonna be four hours from my hometown here in Adelaide to Auckland in New Zealand and then we've got about a 12 12 and a half hour flight to LA from there 
um, going to be staying the night in Los Angeles. So, you know, we can just go chill out, maybe go shopping, get some dinner, just realign ourselves with the time zone. And uh, and then the next morning, late next morning, we'll fly out over to uh, Chicago to get there for Tuesday. So sort of early Tuesday afternoon, I think, um, mid-Tuesday afternoon, which is pretty exciting. Um, really looking forward to getting over there. Um, it's going to be cold. Uh, we haven't, we've just come out of summer here in Australia, so... Um, we're heading into winter, it's starting to cool off a little bit, but nothing like we're keeping it, we've been keeping an eye on the temperatures in Chicago, and, you know, that's pretty damn cold, and, uh, we could be getting some snow, so that'll be interesting, I've never seen snow in my life, uh, which, you know, that may shock some people, but, uh, yeah, just where, where I live, not, not a lot of Australia gets snow, there are a few mountainy areas in the, uh, in the southeast, um, of, sort of, Victoria and New South Wales, um, but aside from that, we don't get snow really anywhere else. Um, so it'll be a first for me if we get if we get some snow, um, which is kind of exciting. But you know, it's going to be cold as hell. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to getting over to Chicago. Um, we got lots of sights and stuff to do and see around the around celebration. Um, we're there for a couple of days after as well so that'll be fun um if you if you follow me on instagram too um you will have seen that i've been putting together this vest like a denim vest with patches and buttons and stuff all over it and i've got that to the point where i'm happy with how it is um i've got a big podcast logo for, for the podcast here um to put on the back and that's on there it looks great i'm looking forward to wearing that um and buying some more patches to to add to it because yeah i want to fill, fill it up um, not necessarily straight away, but while we're over in while we're over in cel a celebration, I'd love to get some patches, just some funky different patches to put on it, um, just commemorating commemorating the time over there. Um, so that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. That'd be just a nice little thing to collect and look forward to. Um, action figure wise, I'm I'm really looking. I've got myself a sort of mental wish list at the moment. I'm going to write it all down so I don't forget what I'm hunting for um, been the fact that I've got the sail barge coming which is so damn exciting <laughs> I can't wait to get home for that um, that's gonna be amazing uh, I've sort of I've sort of gone through my return of the Jedi shelf and shelves and picked out all the figures that I want to populate the barge with and put left them aside um, really looking forward to populating that barge and there's a few characters I need to get um, there's one in particular, it's a Nikto Gunner uh, from, I want to say 2008, 2009 perhaps. So, so it's not ticking, exact, ticking with me at the moment exactly what year it came out. I want to say 08, 09. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying to find him. I know he's going to be popular with everyone having the barge and skiffs and all that coming out soon. So um, yeah, there's a bunch of other figures that I really want to, want to get. Um, some of the more recent ones, like I want to get all of the resistance line because they just haven't shown up here in Australia at all, uh, anywhere. So going to have to hunt around for them. Um, that'll look pretty cool. I'm looking forward to looking forward to picking them up as well as some of the more recent vintage collection figures that I haven't gotten. Um, again, just cause they, nothing's really coming out since the first wave did hit stores down here. Um, and we, seems to just be the way Hasbro Australia works they get the first first waves of everything and then we just don't see it until the next next year or whatever um, it's a bit frustrating and yeah I just haven't been able to commit to buying them online at the moment so I'm hoping I can find them for a better price over in the US whether I go hunting through Walmarts and Targets and whatnot we'll see um, but there are a bunch of vintage collection figures that I'd like to get um, you know, ones that weren't previously available in the Black Series, three and three quarter inch waves. Um, so like Emphis Nest, Range Trooper, uh, need to get a Yak Face and the other Skiff Guard. They're the other two that I really need for the barge. Because um, I'm not opening the Yak Face that the barge comes with. <laughs> That's plain and simple. I've, I've uh, got a nice acrylic case on its way, so I can store that one beautifully in there. Um, and that's not going to see the light of day ever again. No, it will. But it'll just be a nice display piece. In terms of like movie and TV news and stuff like that, I mean, we're just, we're about to be bombarded with movie and TV news. I think uh, <laughs> just a celebration, and 
you know, we're going to be overwhelmed by trailers and, you know, just, just news in general. So I'm looking forward to coming back and being able to sit down and process all that and talk about it all uh, for the podcast. But uh, we're going to try and spend some time talking about it through live videos and stuff while we're at Celebration and maybe from the hotel room. Um, same goes for, you know, books, comics, games, toys, all that sort of stuff. We're bound to get a bunch of Hasbro reveals. I remember last celebration they revealed quite a few figures. I think General uh, Clone Commander Gree was there. Uh, Thrawn was obviously revealed. And, you know, I think we're bound to get a few more of the reveals as well. So be interested to see what's coming. Uh, really interested because Black Series has been pretty damn good lately. So I'm really excited to see what else they've got. Um... In terms of Black Series, I have been, I've pretty much caught up to date with them. And as if you follow me on YouTube and Instagram, you've seen that I've been posting my video reviews of them. Um, got one more to post that'll be up today, um, possibly tonight after this, after I put this one live. Uh, General Grievous. Now that is a cool figure. Um, yeah, I was really, really excited to get a hold of him. Uh, he's a he's a cool figure. There's a few things I don't like, but I'll talk about that more in the review. Um, so you can go and check that out and see what you think. Uh, did just drop the uh, review for the Imperial Jump Trooper yesterday, so definitely go and check that one out. That's a cool figure, really nice uh, addition to the Imperials. And I just spent the last week reviewing and uploading the uh, Wave Twenty, which. You know, included the Holdo, Battle Droid, Mace Windu, Padme Amidala, uh, Dryden Voss, Han Solo, Mud Trooper armor. So, some great figures there. Definitely go and check out those reviews. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the Black Series line at the moment. Um, so, really, yeah, again, I've just... The only one I'm sort of behind on now is the newest iteration of the Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper armor, which is where he's been dunked in the uh, trash compactor. I guess I'm looking forward to grabbing that one at some stage. Overall, I'm really just thrilled to be on holidays. Um, I'm looking forward to getting away and just forgetting about life responsibilities for a couple of weeks. Um, hopefully with all this time spent on aeroplanes, I'll be able to catch up on some audio books and watch a few films and some TV series. We'll see what happens. Um, I've got some podcasts to listen to. Um, I'm still plugging my way through the secret history of Star Wars, which is like a 24-hour audio book. I'm about eight hours in, I think, seven or eight hours in. So I've got quite a lot to go. That's really interesting. That's a fantastic listen. Um, so I hope to continue on with that some more. I've just caught up with all the comic series. I just finished the Darth Vader, um, Fortress Vader run, which wraps up the most recent uh, Darth Vader story, which was really good. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, some of the best that's been put out for Vader. So I'm pretty much up to date with comics now, which is which is awesome. Um, in terms of trade paperbacks being put out, um, I think volume 10 of Star Wars comes out this week coming, so I'll probably grab that while I'm over in the US. And uh, I, think, I think that's it for a little while until the sort of Age of Republic stuff starts coming out in their trade paperbacks. So I'm looking forward to grabbing them because they've been, I've been hearing good things about those, those issues. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting that uh, Master and Apprentice book, the Qui-Gon Obi-Wan Adventure, which looks by Claudia Gray. That looks fantastic. Um, really hoping to get a hold of that um, exclusive cover version of that and hopefully I can get her to sign it. That'd be fantastic as well. And uh, I think that just about wraps things up. I didn't, Like I said, I didn't really have a lot to talk about this week. Um, keep it nice, short, sharp and shiny. Uh, going, I've got plans to record a room tour before I go away um, of my Star Wars room and collection and going through that um, so I'm going to put that up it's been a little over a year since I've done an update and it's it's bound to change again so I wanted to just document that before before I head off to celebration and no doubt come back with some more crap to put in there <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and do my best to record that and get that posted up on YouTube tomorrow um, so stay tuned for that I'll That'll just be a, uh, yeah, just a nice little bonus to go before I head off for a little while. Um, but stay tuned to all my social media and stuff because I'll be doing live videos, hopefully. Um, we'll see how see how it all goes. Um, see how time 
viz and you know i might do a daily haul video or something like that i'm not sure um but i'm looking forward to it only a few days to go um i think five or six days until celebration which is really really exciting been hanging out for this for so long jump on instagram follow me there at the force of jesse i've got all the links to everything else in the show notes below uh in the description uh drop some feedback if you want that's always welcome um and then and jump over to itunes and drop a five star review and you know you don't have to write a review but hit the five stars and you can write a review too that would be fantastic thank you all for watching listening and joining me today uh for episode 19 uh, it's always fun to sit down and talk Star Wars for a little bit. Um, I really do appreciate all the support. Until my next episode, may the force be with you. Always.